Welcome back to the King's Forge. We're so glad to have you here today with us. Struggles. Do you have struggles in your life? God's got something to say about that, and we're going to d- dive into it as soon as we return. So, David. Yeah. Do you have struggles in your life? Struggles, man. Don't we all have struggles? Yes, uh, we do. You know, and, and when we start bl- thinking about struggles, we can have struggles in every aspect of our life. Struggles at home, struggles at the workplace, struggles with our kids, uh, struggles uh, with relationships with our friends, our, our spouses, uh, husband or wife. But uh, w- when I was thinking about this, this, topic of struggle, I, I really narrowed it down to the Christian walk, the Christian faith, what, the struggle of being, uh, living in, in a secular world, uh, being a Christian and trying to, to keep the faith, uh, and that's a struggle. And, and so uh, we brought some scriptures, and this is scriptures that a lot of people use in, in times of uh, combating struggles in life, uh, the first one being from Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. Uh, And the Word of God says, For I know the plans I've made for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Boy, that's good words, ain't it? But plans to give you hope. Mm. So if you're struggling against something, and we all do, we all have problems in our lives. You know, anybody that's told you that you become a Christian the path will be easy. No, he says the path will be made straight. But it doesn't say there's not going to be rocks in it and sometimes boulders. Yeah, and, and you know, that, that a thought just came to my mind, Mike, a, a, a thought that, that I've uh, heard many years ago, that the war between, uh, the war of salvation is, is 12 inches between our mind and our mm-hmm. heart, mm-hmm. and our heart and our mind. So when we think about struggles, what do you think is the main thing that we struggle with i think as christians we struggle with our thoughts our thoughts our thoughts and our heart it's that Thought, same connection th- th- right? thoughts and our heart feelings feelings feeling i feel this way so if right. i feel this way it's got to be true or i'm thinking what the world is saying about me you know instead of what the word says about, about me, me right what god says about me what god says about me and I, so many times uh, when we start these the Bible's the answer, yeah, or part amen. of the answer. Yeah. It's what God says to us, and then what in return in prayer, what we say to him. So, I mean, that scripture, he has plans for us. I think he has plans for everybody, oh, whether yeah. you follow Jesus or not. He's got plans for the whole world. Well, and, and, and Mike, as we think about this, and we're talking about struggles, I, I, I'm kind of getting excited now, and was excited before when we started talking about fruits of the Spirit, but that's coming soon. Mm-hmm. Man, when thinking about struggles, uh, what God provides through the, thir- the, the, the through the Spirit, um, but but here's the thing. Uh, I think the problem with struggling is where are we dis- directing our thoughts? Is is when those struggles come on, when our thoughts get get out of whack, and mm-hmm. we're so distraught, uh, where where do we put that thought process? Where, where do we? hold captive those thoughts and put it through the eyes of Christ or the heart of Christ. Because he says in that scripture, I know the plans I have for you. Right, right. But see, I think we get hung up on the word prosper. Uh Uh-oh. We do. We get hung up on the word prosper. I know the plans I have for you, the Lord says, plans to prosper you and do you no harm or do not harm you. So, but what is prosper? It's prosperity in the secular way we think of prosperity is fame and fortune and all kinds of money. And right. Yes, money can't buy you happiness, but it can buy you a lot of things. 
<laughs> you know, if you're oh. after things, but even things are shallow. I mean, I, I know I did a that the uh, getting out of the boat and walking on water. Right. That that sermon, and I think that's what we're talking about is, you know, uh, Peter said, "Man, God holler at me, and I'll come at you." Right. And he steps out on the water, and he's walking on the water. He's right. above his problems, but right. then his problems get bigger in his mind, in his thought process, than his God, than Jesus. And he right. starts sinking. And I think it's happened to us. We get our mind off of, you know, and, and, and those who don't have that yet, you know, if, if you don't have that relationship, knowing that, and I think our ah, scripture's coming key. up, you know, that, that God's overcome all this. Right. And, 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 and here's the thing. If you don't have that relationship, a lot of times things that uh, a Christian brother or sister in Christ would say to you doesn't make a, it might not make that a lot sense. of sense mm -hmm. because you don't have their Holy Spirit residing in your heart. Jesus Christ promises if we'll accept him, mm -hmm. if we'll call upon him and accept him in our lives and ask him to come into our heart through the power of the Holy Spirit, that we will become a new creation. Our yeah. thoughts will start becoming his thoughts. He'll start, uh, I don't want to say manipulating us, but the Holy Spirit will start building in us and, and, and you know, building up the faith in us. And mm -hmm. so, uh, and it kind of leads to the next scripture that's one of my favorites, Isaiah 40, 31. Uh, and that scripture says, but those who hope in the Lord will renew mm. their strength. Will, they will soar with wings like eagles. They will run and not go weary and they will walk and not be faint. You think about that. If, if I can just, if I can put my hope, if I can put my thought mm -hmm. in, in the Lord, um, at my workplace, in my home, when things are going just out of whack, I, I, I want to pause here and say, you're not looking at two perfect people. Mm -hmm. Randy's not here with us, uh, which is our third, and, and, and we, we believe in a third, uh, a three-strand cord. Uh, it's not easily broken, but I, you know, Randy couldn't be here with us, but... Um, you know, you're not looking at perfect people here at the Forge. Mm -hmm. You're looking at people that are going through, uh, and that's the reason why years ago when we started thinking about doing this, is that we wanted to help people in their daily walk with Christ. Well, you know, and I'm just thinking with the Scripture, uh, to bring it back to that for just a minute, they will soar on wings like eagles. Right. How many times do you feel like you're just either pecking the ground around with a bunch of chickens, you know, Right. Or gobble around with a bunch of turkeys. Right. Spin around. I'm, I'm spin around I'm, chasing, yeah, yeah. chasing, chasing tail. your tail. Yeah, and, and it's the uh this both those scriptures, you turn towards the Lord. The those struggles you turn towards the Lord. You give those I mean he's your best friend. Right. You know, he wants to help you, but once again, I think I've said it a dozen times if I've said it once on this channel, he's a gentleman. He's not gonna push himself on you, and if you want to try to make it your own way, you can but how's that working out for you? I, I think, and, and I think, Mike, I'm not, I didn't get that, I didn't put that uh, scripture down uh, uh, today uh, in the King James. I believe in the King James Version, this is NIV, the, uh, the New International Version of the Bible, but the King James Version, I, say, I think it says those who wait upon the Lord. Wait. But uh, NIV says those who hope in the Lord. And I almost like that better. I, I, you know, waiting means... My hope is in the Lord. Yeah. yeah. I, waiting means i got to stop. i got to stand still. Those who hope in the Lord doesn't talk about, well, i got to wait around on God. God's active. God's already at the other side of a situation. Mm -hmm. God knows the end, the beginning, the middle. And, and, and so to say we got to wait means God's got to catch up. So I, I don't know if God's got to catch up. And I'm not, I'm not mm -hmm. pleased. I'm not questioning the Bible whatsoever. Uh, maybe interpretation, but I'm I'm saying here, those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. Uh, powerful words, uh, and there's a promise in our in our next in our next. Wait, uh, before you go that, go ahead. They will walk and not be faint. Hit me too, because that's physical. Yes, it's sir. not it's not all just heart and mind. Right. He promises in in that Bible in these Bibles. He promises. To renew our strength. Right, right. That's a physical thing. And right. I, and I've, I've felt it happen. I know you have too. Right. Anyway, well, well, look. We'll renew their strength. Strength. We'll renew their strength. And they will walk and not be faint. Mu muscles. Muscles. Our strength. Right. And muscles. Not, and tendons. not 
and not ever be ever part of it. Faint. How many times have you just felt oh, hopeless? I know I have, and weary. I'm a Christian. Yeah. I'm trying to walk with God, and there's times that I have to be reminded of these things. You know, that, that's what this channel is all about: is helping people to see or renew their mind. Right. In right. things they've forgotten. Right. Right. That we and, forget and too. It's 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 too. It's a focus. It's a it's a focusing. Uh, what do I focus on? Where do I put my thoughts? Where do I put my focus? Where do I, where do I, do I, am I holding those, instead of letting those thoughts run wild, instead of letting those wa- thoughts run rampant, mm-hmm. where am I focusing my thoughts? And, and here's the thing. Once you give them to Jesus, he becomes your helper. He becomes, well, he becomes the leader. Man. I mean, he tells us, I got you, I got a plan for you. I'll send you hope. I'll send you strength. You will run or you will walk and not be faint. What else? Yeah, and, and you know, there's a promise in the next scripture, and we're going to end here and probably go to a part two because we're trying to uh, s- lengthen down our, our sharpening short, iron short segment, down, yes, short, shorten it a little bit. So we're going to have a part two. Uh, so please tune in for that. But but uh, I want to end with this. John sixteen thirty three. it says, I have told you these things so that y- that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble. Mm-hmm. But get this. This is great stuff. This is good news right here. But take heart. I mm-hmm. have overcome mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. world. So in this first segment wow. of speaking of how we deal with troubles, uh, we've, we've really looked at where our vision should be when we look at the trouble. Are we, when we pray and we search the Bible and stuff, are we saying, uh, oh, God, how, look how big my trouble is? Or are we talking to the trouble saying, Look how big my God is. So that's kind of the first part of this. And we want to thank you so much for tuning in. Like I said, we're going to try to shorten these these down and order, uh, offer some extra footage or maybe you know split them up because there's a lot here and we've got to kind of get yeah. into it. So thank you so much for viewing today. Uh, if, you, if you get something out of what we're doing here, if you would please like and share, subscribe, you know, hit that bell notification on YouTube so that you can... Uh, uh, can see what's coming up next and see what's going on here in the Forge. And also, we want to thank, we started this podcast not too long ago, and, and it's on our website. You can go to sharpening-iron.com, and all this, uh, this stuff's on there about our podcast and about our YouTube channel. We, we wish you'd view that. But uh, we're amazed that we, we hadn't advertised much of this stuff, and we've got over 200 people uh, listen to podcasts. And... Uh, Quite a big group out of California, and we want to shout out to yeah. our guys in California yeah. that's watching, uh, listening, yeah, listening yeah. to us. We just love that. We love y'all. God loves you. A few you know, people in New York, you know, up New in York, up north, yeah, and, and we're spreading, it's spreading. I guess yeah, you know, and it's good but stuff. We just, but we, we love our people in, uh, right around home, and everybody, and all of our friends that we've reached out to. But but guys, uh, it means a lot. And uh, please, if you have a thought, yeah, or if you have a a, a topic. Or if you have a, a thought about the t- a topic we have shared, we've sure. got right now, I think, about 30 hours of content out. Uh, please listen and, and make comments. Yeah, one, Email us. OneKingsForward.com. At the beginning of our videos there, it shows us. That's the best email. That's, a, that's just a, 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 you know, a Gmail address. I mean, there's the separate ones are on there for each one of us if you want to talk to us separately. But uh, we sure do thank you. It's such a blessing to be able to do this. And... Uh, Thank you for joining, and we'll see you again here at the Forge. Amen. Be blessed.